nearly 300 miles from downtown Birmingham. The same beach that lures vacationers draws college students to its shore every summer. It's one of the best things you could probably do as an incoming student. The Dolphin Island Sea Lab is the beginning of the UAB graduate school journey for these students. Um, it's a lot of fun. You're at the beach the whole time and you just learn so much about neuroscience in a very short amount of time. For three weeks, they're immersed in the study of neuroscience, spending hours in the classroom learning the basics, then taking those techniques right next door to the lab to put those ideas into practice. That hands-on definitely helps people really learn how to um, understand the, the concept of electrophysiology and as well as you know really getting into the, the problem solving. This experiment tests how optic nerves respond to light. So what it does is give them a chance to um, practice what they learn in lectures. Um, so they get a chance to to see what neuro neurophysiological responses are. They get to see action potentials. They get to see um, light responses. So they really get to see what all this stuff looks like outside of a book. So we're looking at the outputs of these neurons because neurons communicate via electrical signals. So we're kind of looking at how they generate these electrical signals and what that uh, kind of means when they're communicating with each other. I'm planning to use that in the lab back at UAB. And so just learning this technique has um, really helped with my research. Having that much information presented to you with these like hands-on labs and things like that, it's a really, really good opportunity for actually understanding what you're being taught and to get it all shown to you at once when you're in this, you know, vacation-like setting. The Barrier Island is home to all sorts of ocean life, a natural fit for exploring and understanding neurobiology. The same processes that we go through, actually Limulus uses somewhat similar processes. Dr. Paul Gamlin helped start the course here more than 20 years ago. I feel we've done a good job of taking students in some cases who really don't know how to use any of the basic electrophysiological equipment and in some ways are quite nervous about touching it to a point where they use it routinely in their labs and are actually very good at doing electrophysiology. Students spend time working one-on-one -on -one with faculty and forming friendships. It's also a great bonding experience for my fellow, with my fellow classmates and it's always nice to get to know who you're going to be with for the next five or so years. It's a relationship and a bond that you'll build with uh, the rest of your class that really makes a difference for the rest of your um, time in graduate school, I think. These students take what they learn in Dolphin Island wherever they go. It's a really great experience. I do think it's going to be something that I remember fondly. It's just a relaxed environment here, which is nice and it's easy to, to learn. We work really hard, but you're at the beach. It's a gorgeous place to be and it's a life-changing experience.